One of the more recently built metro systems in Europe, the Sofia Metro, celebrated its 25th anniversary in January this year. It consists of four standard gauge lines with 47 stations, carrying over 300,000 people each day. There's also an extensive 27-line tram network in Sofia, although this hasn't been enlarged since 1995, as public transportation development has been focused on the metro system. This film was mostly going to be footage of the metro, but apparently filming and photography isn't allowed. At all. The PA announcement you can hear in this clip is Do not film in Bulgarian, as I was told by a helpful passerby who also spoke English. I was stopped from filming three times by security in the space of a few hours, so we're going to have to use some still phone images instead. Construction started in the 1980s but was affected by many delays including financial issues and lots of archaeology. Under central Sofia are the remains of the ancient city of Serdica, which dates from as early as 7000 BCE. Numerous archaeological sites were found during the construction, and some of the remains uncovered are still on display. Line 1 opened in 1998 with just five stations, and was expanded until 2015. Line 2 followed in 2012, and the newest edition, Line 3, opened in 2020 and 21. It has an unusual feature in the solid overhead electric supply instead of a third rail system, and it's fitted throughout with half-height platform edge doors. Some stations on line 2 and 4 use an older system of lifting platform edge screens, similar in operation to a roller shutter. Line 4 was created at the same time as Line 3 by splitting Line 2, although services still run over the entire length. There is a plan to split the services entirely by replacing Obelia Station, although the date for this work to commence is unclear. There are a couple of overground sections on the network, however they have this unusual translucent plastic roof system. It's frustrating for those of us who enjoy the view from elevated metro lines. The network uses three types of rolling stock. Lines 1, 2 and 4 have Russian built stock by Metro Wagon Mash. Line 3 has Siemens Inspiro units, a total of 33 car sets that just operate on Line 3. The Metro has been affected by the Russian invasion of Ukraine and subsequent sanctions, as there are issues obtaining support and systems compatible with the Russian automation technology that's used. The network seems quick and efficient, operating from 5am to midnight, 7 days a week, with train frequencies between 3 and 14 minutes. Tickets are cheap, with a whole day pass costing 4 lev, which is about 2 euros. This covers the metro, trams and bus networks in the city. A single metro ticket costs 1.6 lev, about 0.8 of a euro. Plans have been announced for a fifth line, but no dates for construction appear to exist at the moment. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more Random Railways.